A huge mistake that a lot of men make when they're trying to grow out a longer beard, especially if they have subpar neck growth, is they tend to style their beards like this. Way, way too straight for the amount of growth I have, which is about five inches, when in reality, I should be styling my beard more like this. Nice and tucked under, nice pop off the cheeks, very quick to do first thing in the morning, and it's gonna make your beard look both natural and tame at the same time. Stay tuned. All right, so beard is sopping wet right now. Uh, the longer you, the longer your beard is, the more dry you're probably gonna have to make it. Um, when my beard is shorter, I was I was only drying it like to 35% dry or something like that. Right now, I've been drying it to like 75% dry. Like seriously, I'm trying to get it nearly as dry as possible. Apply some beard oil. Right here I got some Kingsman Holy Grail beard oil. Really nice oud scent. Probably one of the best oils you'll, you'll ever smell in your life. And this tucked under beard style is actually not an easy beard style to style properly. Because what, what happens if you don't do it properly, what will happen is that it's gonna get all frizzy throughout the day. If you don't do that initial styling properly, you know, you're bordering the line between uh, a natural looking, nice, full shape uh, versus just a frizzy mess, which doesn't look good. And um, that initial de-styling, if you don't do it properly, happens pretty quick uh, after the styling. So you'll know if you've done it wrong. All right, so we're gonna grab our blow dryer now, and we're also gonna we're also gonna grab a round brush like this. So basically, two prime movers in this whole uh, styling routine. So first off, comb it through just a little bit. The first prime mover is just gonna be your classic roll up. And we're gonna have it on the medium speed at, on the warm setting. In my opinion, as you're, you know, rolling it up, the rotation is really, really important. Otherwise, you get really weird creases and things of that nature. Already we're getting a nice pop off the cheeks, maybe a little too much. And to balance out the overly poppy look, what you do is you do a kind of a counter motion, which is ironing it out like this, just working it through as you have it on the same, uh, you know, speed and warmth. So let's do that, let's do that now. So you kind of repeat those two actions as many times as you really need until it's completely 100% dry. As you see, it's actually looking pretty good right away. So I'm gonna do uh, the other side now. And with the front, you have a couple options. Depending on where you are in your beard growth, you can either tuck it under, right? Have it all tucked under, you know, if you're, the front of your beard is growing out too much, or you can just leave it alone entirely. Um, today I'm going to be tucking it under. Usually I would leave it alone. So actually I'm going to do the front first and then I'll do the other side uh, and put that fast motion. All right. So yeah, just coming up and then rolling and coming down. Just like that, creates a nice tuck. I'm gonna do the other side. So you can just keep kind of repeating that as many times as you want. Like mine, it's starting to look pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell in the camera display here, 
But um, now what you kind of want to do is you want to lock it all in place uh, with a cold shot. And sometimes what you like to do is you kind of do a nice little comb through, uh, trying to avoid the, the front here. And uh, what I mean by a comb through is you put it on the cold shot, you do one of these, right, just to maybe get rid of some of the curls. And then you cold shot this motion, right? And then quickly cold shot this motion. Then you're pretty. You're probably going to be pretty locked in place. Let's just go through that right now. Actually, I, I like that shape a lot. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother doing that one. Uh, I think that looks really, really good. And uh, you can really take a lot of creative license with, you know, as you know, you cold shot this, you go down and really just let the comb fall. And when it gets to the end of the beard, you know, just very, very lightly tuck that inwards, you know, as you're cold shotting it. And it just adds a really nice tuck under there. So I'm going to cold shot everything else and then we're going to deal with the mustache. The, uh, the front tuck is actually very difficult sometimes um, because what a lot of people do is they're you know they they don't do the you know the, the constant rotation which in my opinion is really important because otherwise otherwise you, you know you're gonna roll it up it's gonna be uh, curved but it's going to you know go out like this see I can't even do it because I did it properly but it's really gonna jut out and it doesn't always look super good so I just went to the bathroom checked in the mirror I think it looks really, really good right now. I'm very impressed with <laughs> how good I managed to do it. That's all cold shot. This, this is 100% dry. If there was any moisture in this, um, you know, after that whole process, then if I went outside right now or whatever, uh, I'm pretty sure it would get destyled, let's put it that way. And it took me a long time to figure that out. Just keep in mind that with this maneuver, it's not the best, uh, you know, method for getting the whole beard dry. So just make sure that you go uh, vicious enough with that towel in the beginning. But don't, no, don't go too nuts with it. But you know, just enough that uh, it gets everything dry. So now the mustache is pretty simple. It's, uh, you know, it's just a watch and learn type of situation. That is more or less the business, <laughs> as I say here on the channel. And uh, now we're gonna go in with some Kingsman mustache wax. I love this stuff, it is really, really nice. Also, I don't like to mix scents. Uh, so, you know, I had the wood scent, the Holy Grail, and of course I have the Holy Grail to, you know, go with it on the mustache here. And uh, sometimes I put it through my beard and uh, and today, I don't think, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to do it for the sake of demonstration so you guys know uh, about how you could use this product for that method, right? So you just work it through. I don't like to, you know, work it too much, uh, just a little bit, so then, um, you know, it's not too emulsified. And then you just kind of give it some shape, some volume. I find with this mustache wax, or it's technically beard wax, you don't want to go all the way down to the skin. You just kind of 
getting the outside of the hair. Just gonna add a little bit of extra hold. I'm gonna work it through the mustache here. Keeps the under lip, inner lip a little more flat as well when you do this. All right. Just give it a little bit of shape. So guys, thank you so much for coming and visiting me on this last styling routine of this year. Likely the trim for this year is gonna be coming up uh, a couple days after October 20th. That's the day officially that I'm going to be getting the trim. And uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a good day.